Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have some favorites and non-favorites for you today. It has been a while since I've done a favorites and non-favorites video. I think the last one was two to three months ago. So this is kind of a collection over the last few months. So I'm going to start out with, um, let's start out with hair just because I have, I have a few th hair items to talk about. Oh, I need to grab a couple things. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Ta da! I'm back. Okay, so for hair items, I am back to using my Batiste dry shampoo. I get the color in the dark and deep brown. This is the best dry shampoo I have ever used. It's like seven or eight dollars. You can get them at Walgreens, Ulta, a lot of places carry this brand now, and it's the best. I've tried so many that have totally and utterly disappointed me, and I'm going to actually show you some of them in my non-favorites section of this video. But yeah, this is the best, best, best dry shampoo ever, and I highly recommend it. The next two items are all about volume. I have a lot of fine hair, and I have an issue with volume today. I definitely wanted it to look very sleek and whatever, but typically I like to have volume, especially at my Roots. So I've been using a couple of these products and together I've just been super 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 happy The first thing I'm gonna talk about is Aveda's thickening tonic spray. This spray is amazing I've already talked about this before but I wanted to mention it again because I cannot function or live without this thing It is so good. It adds volume whether you let your hair air dry or if you actually blow dry You will notice a difference the first time that you use it because it is that good for more of like a really intense like root lift I am in love with this. This is called Biomega. It's the Up All Night Volume Foam. This is so good. It's so good at like really really like lifting the hair and it's not an annoying texture because a lot of volume sprays have to create a texture for your hair to kind of lay on top of itself and to really give that volume and in some formulations you can feel it and feels heavy and gross and others it doesn't um, this one it doesn't the only thing about this that I noticed is you don't want to get your hair wet after having this in when your hair is dry and styled because it does like with the water it like saturates or kind of breaks down the styling process Product and my hair felt really like gross. You know, I think for the most part that's not really a big issue and it's just amazing so I definitely recommend it. Okay, so that is my hair stuff. Moving into, you know what, let's go into makeup. My first mad love and favorite would be this Coco Blend eyeshadow palette. It is absolutely stunning. So, so beautiful. The color selection is great. There's enough variety of colors where you can get away with using this all throughout all the seasons. You can use some of the bronzy gold shades for spring and summer, and then you have some of the darker tones and warmer tones for fall and winter. So it's just an overall really, really great palette. I love this one. I don't have any fallout. I feel like they blend so well. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. It is such a great, great palette and I love it. Highly recommend this one. The next is a little mini palette. This is a Smoke Bomb by the Bomb palette. It has like a nice shimmery champagne color. It has a matte grayish brown which is so beautiful and then a like a satiny dark eyeshadow here. This this palette is so great. I actually get a lot of compliments when I wear it because for some reason it just complements the color of my brown eyes. This is such a great like smoky eye palette. Very very simple, very compact if you're looking for a new eyeshadow palette for like a smoky eye look. Sticking with the eyes, I'm loving again, I used to love this mascara back in the day when Maybelline first came out with it, but this is the Falsies mascara. I really, really like it. I've been wearing this all month long. This gives so much volume. Something else that's really important to me is I have such straight lashes. They just, they're hard to stay curled. I have this whole routine that I do with my mascara um, where I heat my eyelash curler at the end. If you watch my videos then you know this. This one will keep the curl even though it's not waterproof when I do that routine. And I love that. It's hard to find a mascara that will do that. And this one does. So this is overall really great mascara and I love it so much. Total favorite again. <laughs> okay, so we're going to talk about foundation. I have a couple really great ones to talk about. One I'm wearing underneath my powder today and this is the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. This is such a wonderful, wonderful product. It is a very light kind of, yeah, probably more of like a light coverage foundation. It feels so smooth. Like when I rub it into my skin, I've never felt something that felt so light, so smooth, and moisturizing at the same time without it being too much for someone like myself who has really oily skin in the, in the T-zone area. This is a great foundation for people who just need like 
everything evened out. Just a great moisturizing slash beautiful light coverage foundation. The next is a more of a medium coverage foundation. This is by L'Oreal. This is their compact makeup, super blendable makeup. It is like a cream and I use the sponge that comes with it to apply it. It is wonderful for oily skin. Oh my gosh. It has an SPF of 17 in it and it creates a very like flawless looking coverage to your face. The next thing is a face powder. It is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. So I typically set my foundations, both of those, with this and it's wonderful. It helps my oil. It helps everything stay for a really long time. I've even been using the sponge with it which works just great. A powder brush would work great too for like a lighter coverage effect but it's just such a beautiful soft powder. It feels like really smooth on the skin. It doesn't look cakey on me. Speaking of powder, I have been using the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder for under my eyes. This is such a beautiful powder. It has light reflecting properties in it. It helps keep that area light and luminous, which I really am happy with. Talking about concealer, I have been loving is the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. I have been using this nonstop. So this is a beautiful light reflecting luminous concealer. It just draws a lot of light to your eyes, as you can tell. Okay, next up are two highlighters that I've been totally obsessed with. The first one is e.l.f. Pinktastic. This is a gorgeous pinky champagne color. It's just so pretty on the skin. I'm actually wearing it today. And then the next one has been the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and this is Champagne Pop. This is the one that Jaclyn Hill created with them which is a mix of peach and champagne and gold and it's just something that's complimentary. This is the uh, champagne pop. It's just complimentary to a lot of skin tones. It's really intense, which I love, and I I have been pretty much wearing this non-stop this month. Both of those have been my favorite highlighters as of lately. Okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about are two lip glosses that have been absolutely pretty much all I've been wearing for a while. The one that I'm wearing on my lips right now is from Gerard Cosmetics, and it is the Rose Hill color. It's gorgeous. So there was all this hype for a long time about Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses and I took a really long time to jump on the bandwagon. I was always hesitant. I never, you know, sometimes when you hear so much like rave about a product, you don't really know if it's just kind of like the trendy thing to do or if there's real reason why the product is getting so much attention. And so I decided to try one lip gloss and it came and I tried it and now I'm just, I love it so much. It feels so comfortable on the lips, like just moisturizing and my lips feel just they feel so good with this formula on it and it's flattering and it's a beautiful color and it fades nicely. The next lip gloss is this beautiful lip gloss from Hikari. This is in Merlot. It's this really, really pretty berry shade that is amazing. The formula isn't as good as the Gerard Cosmetics, but it's definitely, it's still good. You know what I mean? And the pigmentation is like full cover. This is like a liquid lipstick in my opinion. Okay, the next thing are just two little makeup brushes. I wanted to try out the Morphe brushes, so I just ordered two of them and now I'm obsessed. So the hype around Morphe brushes, I am definitely confirming it. They are really good. <laughs> I, use the, I use these all the time now. So I ordered the Morphe M441. This is like a bigger blending brush to just get everything blended out in the crease and this is more of like a pointed crease brush this is the M330 brush and so this is like creates a little bit more precise precision precise precision okay <laughs> it creates more of like this precise color I don't even know how to talk it just does a really good job in the crease and I highly recommend these two real quick Scentbird totally love the service if you haven't heard of it you should totally check it out I have a link below if you're curious so my favorite one of my favorites is this Michael Kors sexy amber if you like the scent of amber, you probably will like this. This is such a sexy aroma. It's it's a beautiful scent, um, very sophisticated. Whenever I wear it, my fiance loves it. He notices, and that's big for him because he just really doesn't notice stuff like this. So this is just like a warm, sensual... It totally is like a sexy scent and again Michael Kors sexy amber if you're looking for like an amber perfume that lasts a while and has this like nice warm tone to it with like a sophisticated feel this is your friend <laughs> this is your friend oh I just want to like tell you about my, my skincare routine right now because I'm so happy with what, I, what I'm doing but basically I am reusing or I'm starting to use the purity cleanser which is like a one-stop 
facial cleanser. It gets rid of makeup and it's just such a deep cleansing product without it being too stripping. Like it can definitely be drying on the skin if you're not careful with it. But I absolutely love this. It gets I specifically use this for getting my eye makeup off and it does a great job at doing that. And then I use something else <laughs> on my face, which I love, that I'll just save for my skincare video, but I've been loving this one again. And then another product that I wanna talk more about, but I'm gonna do a review on this whole line, but I'm madly, madly, madly in love with this body butter. This is from Madison Medicinals, and it's her Cocoa Lemon Body Butter. I love, love, love this body butter, and I can't live without it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's so amazing and moisturizing too. My one food item that I have to talk about with the yogurt. <laughs> this is Chobani Greek yogurt and it's these little like flips. Oh my goodness gracious, I can't handle how good this is. This is the Greek yogurt part and then on this other side has like nuts and um, delicious little ingredients that you can like basically flip over and put and mix it into yogurt and it is so delicious they have a lot of different flavors my favorite would be the chocolate haze craze which this has chocolate hazelnut flavored low-fat yogurt with hazelnuts and milk chocolate and it's 1.5 percent milk fat for those of you that are worried or concerned about those things one of the reasons why I got this was because of the protein there's 12 grams of protein in this which is awesome I usually have this with like a side of fruit there's like a peanut butter one that is just to die for so yes eat it eat it take it put it in your mouth you will want to marry me for how delicious this is I promise and I will say yes if you cook if you can cook I'll say yes last favorite is this beautiful necklace from Target it's not where the typical jewelry is it's actually at the counter the special jewelry counter I get so many compliments when I wear it and so I highly recommend this necklace if you like stuff like that. Okay, another favorite, and this is actually a shout out to this beautiful lady. I recently just met her on YouTube. Her name is Sydney Jensen, and she's got this makeup and beauty channel. Her personality is really fun and light and just energetic, and her videos are so cute. I love the makeup looks that she comes up with as well, and she's got this beautiful, beautiful skin. She's just gorgeous. So definitely check her out. I'll leave her information below, but again, her name is Sydney Jensen. And then another one of my favorite YouTubers right now, Tara Michelle. Tara Michelle, I love you. You are the best. Um, you guys should check out her channel. She is so sweet. She's a mother. She's hilarious. I think that's probably the, the biggest reason why I really like her. She's just so funny. And I love her little, like her just personality just is so cute. So definitely check her out. And then of course my friend Richie just started his channel. And he is hilarious. So I will leave his information below. But yeah, you guys should definitely check these beautiful, beautiful people out. And now let's go into my non-favorites. Okay, so much rave about this concealer. This is the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. I don't like it. It didn't do a good job covering for me. I feel like it just, it accentuated my little fine lines under my eyes. It also didn't last on my skin very well. I feel I feel like it just kind of uh, looked a little patchy after a while and I even set it with powder and everything. So I don't like this concealer. I don't recommend it. I think that there are better concealers out there, especially the True Match one or Maybelline Master Conceal. That one is hands down amazing. This one, not amazing. Speaking of Maybelline, um, the Fit Me Powder, this is just their regular set and smooth powder for normal to dry skin. The only reason why I don't like this is because uh, it didn't work well for my oily skin. But it is a beautiful powder. Other than that, if you have normal skin, you probably would like it. Or dry skin too, you would like it. But if you're oily skinned person like me, especially T-zone. Speaking of oily T-zone skin, Circa Beauty Foundation. This looks beautiful on so many people, especially mature skin. On me, I looked like an oil slick. It was disgusting. This started to get oily on me after an hour and a half. Yeah, hour and a half. It was awesome. I went to work that day and I kept having to like blot my face the whole time I was at work. It was, it was not fun. I have been on a back to a natural deodorant kick again. I try to use a lot more natural products when it comes to direct contact with my skin. So hair care, body care, skin care all tends to be on the, on the more natural organic side. Makeup, I do half and half. Some of it is natural based, some of it is not. Makeup isn't too much of a concern for me because it's not on my face for long periods of time. I don't wear makeup every day, so I'm not too worried about it. But deodorant, having lymph nodes right under your arms, you know, and, and just not really sure 
if aluminum or any of those things are harmful, I'm sure that they would be taking them off the shelf altogether if they end up finding out that it's totally and completely harmful. But in the meantime, just as a precaution, I've been like, you know, I think I want to try some natural deodorants again. Well, it's been a journey. <laughs> there has been a few fails. I already threw one away. I went, it's like the crystal it has like a roller ball. It's just like a pure liquid. I got it at Walgreens. That was an epic fail. I started to smell really bad after like three days of using it. Same thing with this healthy deodorant from Pure Vanilla, La Vanilla Laboratories. I tried this one. This is the vanilla scent. I also tried the coconut one. Both of these epically failed me after a few days. So it did the same thing that the other one did, which is seems like it's working great the first day or two, but then after a few days, it starts to create this weird combination of your scent and that scent. I don't know, it makes it smell worse. So this was a fail for me. I am trying a couple other ones out, which if you want to see like a natural deodorant video, let me know. I will make one for you. Been a journey, but I can definitely do a video if you're curious. But in the meantime, the healthy deodorant from La Vanilla, I don't know what the rave is about this. It did not work for me. Not at all. Okay. And then last but not least, going back to the first thing that I talked about on, my, on this video was the dry shampoos. Let me tell you the ones that you should probably avoid. <laughs> Hold that thought. All right, let's begin. This one from Pantene, the dry shampoo, did not work very well. And it smells kind of weird, and I don't feel like my hair felt cleaner. As it says on the label, feels cleaner, satisfaction guaranteed. No, not really. Sorry, did not work well. Was this Kardashian Beauty one? I loved it the first like few times I tried it. But that's because I think all the goodness that was in this, even though you shook it up, I think all the best like parts of it come out like during the first few tries. Because then afterwards I found I found that it just made my hair worse and it was like it just did not do a really good job. I do like the way that this smells. It was a pleasant smell, but yeah. So I feel like it's it's a waste because it only worked well again the first few uses. And then after that it just started to not work as well. So don't like those two. And then the last one would be the Lush one. Um, this is their dry shampoo. I really wanted to like this one, but it just did the same thing. Like these all three kind of left my hair feeling really uh, weighted down and kind of gross. It felt like I had a lot of buildup on my hair um, and I just wasn't happy with these at all. The only one that doesn't do that is the Batiste one again. So yeah, those ones were not not my favorite. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. I will try to do monthly videos of this so I don't have like such a collection like building up and my videos won't be as long. I don't know. I just needed to take a little extra time with some of these things to get a real feel for them and to know exactly if I really, really like them or not. Um, but yeah, I hope that you find this helpful. If you were curious about any of these products, I hope that I answered any of your questions or curiosities about them. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a beautiful day. Bye.